Tutorials. My name is Dave, and in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through creating a WPF application. WPF application. In the the last tutorial, we walked through creating a form application or a desktop app. And form apps are that's really old school. Uh, that's you know 90s, early 2000s. And after form apps came WPF apps. WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation. Windows Presentation Foundation, and, and it's a later technology than form apps. But even WPF apps at this point is kind of old school. Today we have store apps and ASP.NET and other things. Uh, so WPF apps were kind of old school too. too. Uh, but uh, the form apps are, are even older. So let's create a WPF app. And same thing with the, uh, the console and the form app. Click on New Project. And this time I want to make sure WPF application is selected. Uh, you see WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation. And, and double click in the name field. We want to name this. I'm going to name it My WPF App. And I have WPF application selected. I see that's highlighted. I've named it. Again, stay away from any special characters. Stick with letters and numbers. And we're going to click OK. So Visual Studio is going to set up this uh, WPF application and it takes a few seconds and you can see that uh, we'll look at Visual uh, Solution Explorer and we can see that Visual Studio has created some files for me okay and you know, this is a little bit different than a form apps than a, a form app because we have two windows here we have the design view and uh, XAML is XAML is pronounced XAML like camel but with a Z and we're going to talk more about XAML later on uh, basically this is for designing or marking up the user interface and what I mean by marking up is you know, uh, putting a button or uh, uh, image or, or whatever just design colors and things like that so you're just designing the user interface so we have a WPF app, just a blank app, and again, the first thing you want to do, click on Save All. Just go ahead and do that, Save All. You want to tell Visual Studio where to save it, click on Browse. And I'm already in the folder, so Documents, Dave, C Sharp, Projects. This is my folder where I'm saving my projects. And so I'm going to click on Select Folder. <coughs> this is, excuse me. This is where I want to save it. I've named the app. I've told Visual Studio where to save it. And this is checked by default, and it should be. This creates a folder for the solution. And click on Save. And give it a few seconds. OK, so now it's saved it in that location. So let's uh, let's verify that. I want to go ahead and close. I'm just going to exit Visual Studio. Just close out Visual Studio. And click on the X up here. So just completely close out Visual Studio. And now I'm going to go to let's see Documents, Dave, C Sharp, and Projects. This is where I saved it. And, and you, of course, you can save yours anywhere you like. Again, I suggest creating a folder uh, in Documents with your name or whatever and putting all your stuff in that folder. That way you know where it's at. So, okay, so I named it my WPF app. So here it is. This is the folder that Visual Studio created. I'm going to open this folder and then I want to open this SLN file. SLN. Uh, this file right here. SLN file. So if I double click on that, it should open the solution back up, the one that I just created. Okay, it'll take a few seconds. Visual Studio is just setting everything up. And here we go. This is the my, yeah, you can see up top here, my WPF app. And this is this is the solution that I just created. So so there you go. That's uh, d how to create a WPF application. And we have the, the toolbox just like with forms. We can drag uh, buttons and labels and things like that over onto the design or the window. And, and WPF would call these uh, a window. In form app, we call it a form. So we can drag these controls over to the window 
and each one of the controls has its own set of properties. So we can see those properties in here. Uh, so for example, let's drag this label onto the window. We have the label selected. Now when I click on properties, you can see this is the, the label that's selected and these are the properties like color, text, uh, size, these are the properties for that label. And, and again, we're going to talk a lot more about WPF apps later on. The main thing I want you to come away with from this tutorial is just how to create a WPF app. Is how to get started. And you do that by clicking on the, the new project on the start page and naming the project, make, making sure that WPF application is selected and click OK and then the first thing you want to do is click on Save All to tell Visual Studio where to save it and and then from there you would just want to make sure you uh, periodically click on Save All. Once Visual Studio knows where to save your app then when you click on Save All it, you're, it just saves it there and also you, anytime you run it clicking this uh, green uh, start button anytime you run it it saves it saves it for you so just make sure you're saving your work as you go so you're not spending hours writing code and forgetting to save and then you just lost all that time so so this this is a just a, a empty uh, basic uh, WPF application and this is how to create one just how to get started so this is a WPF applications Windows presentation applications and there you go